I used to uh, tell uh, my students uh, this phrase, and which I love to to mention also in uh, in talks no? and even in homilies. This phrase that goes, "What you focus on expands, and what you give less attention to gradually diminishes and eventually disappears." So what you focus on expands and what you give less attention to slowly disappears. We see that in our readings today. For example, we read the story of uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah, a prophet sent by God to proclaim the good news, but the experience or experiences of Jer Jeremiah has not been that pleasant. He was rejected by the people because the people to whom he was proclaimed the good news did not believe in God. But instead of shutting himself off, instead of shutting God off, he remained firm. And he has words to those who did not accept him and to those who did not accept God. So, instead of just isolating himself, all the more, he was resolved to continue his mission. You see how he focused more on the possibility, how he focused more on how God would work in and through his life. Now, we move to the the epistle of uh, St. Paul to the Romans. St. Paul mentioned about sin entered into the world through one man. And because of this sin, humanity suffered. And the spread of sin and the consequences of sin spread. Why? the consequences of sin spread because people pay attention to more to the sin rather than to how to overcome sin. For example, violence spreads because people are prone to, to violence. This information is spreading. Why? Because people are into disinformation. So anything for that matter can easily spread because you pay attention to it. You focus on it. Whatever it is that, that is spreading because it is given much space to spread. And now Jesus tells us about not to be afraid when you are facing difficulties because that's very true you know all of us are facing different forms of difficulties and when we are subject to difficulties or hardships we can only have two things to do whether we give up or we keep on going well usually there are three apps no that uh, that we we employ when we are confronted by these situations, particularly difficult situations, either we, we fight against, no, in Tagalog we say, we fight, may papatunayan ako, I want to prove something, that's why I'm fighting back, or you may want to just flee, or just move out. Why? Because you cannot face it, so you just get out of it. No? Or face it confront with courage and that is what Jesus is telling us in the gospel fear not for you are more precious than many sparrows in whatever situation we are in what is our usual response you know I always want to go back to to the pandemic uh, period especially during the height of pandemic. Although now we are moving out slowly from the pandemic and hopefully we will succeed and then enter into the new normal, the now normal. 
but it seems that people are still having the hang-ups of the pandemic. We have a choice. What is our choice? Shall we cling to our anxiety and depression? Shall we shut ourselves off? Or are we ready to face the new challenges? Usually, people who suffer all the more with anxiety and depressions are those who shut themselves off. When you isolate yourself, the more you will experience anxiety and depression. Why? Because your world is so small. Our world is so small when we isolate ourselves. But the moment we get out of ourselves, then we realize that the world is so huge. And more than that, we are not alone. There are people around us who can help us. And above all, there is God who cares so much about us. And that's precisely where we are invited. Make your choice. As we used to say, make your choice. And the choice that you make will determine your kind of life. But the Lord Jesus in, reminds us never to be afraid because He is there with us. We are precious in His eyes. We are so important to Him. As again in the Gospel, be not afraid for you are worth more than many sparrows. As we continue with our Eucharistic celebration, let us be resolved to be open to the Lord and for whatever graces that He can grant upon us, for we keep on moving. Because only those who keep on moving with faith and with love in their hearts are the ones who can really not just survive, but who can really live life fully and meaningfully.